Hi guys, I'm so sorry I've been AWOL for the last couple of weeks. As you all know, if you follow me on Facebook and stuff, that I've been having my kitchen done by the council. And it's just been a complete nightmare. Plus I've been ill. Um, yeah, it's just been one thing after another. I'm now on the mend and the kitchen, yay, is getting back to normal, hopefully. Um, I've only got a couple of things to get done now. That's the painting and um, all the decorating. And the floor has to go down. So yeah, I've got all my nice new units and it's really cool and I love it. This is just going to be a Mahoosive Collective haul that I've been collecting on the times that I have been sort of able to get out of the house and go shopping. Retail therapy has been my saviour this last couple of weeks. As you know, retail therapy is just me all over anyway, but definitely, definitely, definitely had like the whirl of a time just getting out of the place and oh, it's just been driving me mad, but I'm, it's, everything's going back on track now. I'm, I'm slowly getting better. I've had like a fluey type cold thing. Um, I had a kidney infection. Oh, it's just been one thing after another, so yeah. Right, so Primark, Poundland, Savers, Factory Shop. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably... Oh, yeah, oh, Savers, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of things, just get them out of the way first. We all like clean bums. So I've got some of these uh, from Poundland because they're just so much cheaper in Poundland. Um, what else did I get from Poundland? That's all Primark in there. Right, Poundland. I've got a feeling... I don't know if I've showed you this lot or not. I've, if, I've, if I've showed you any of this stuff already, guys, I do apologise. Um, but, yeah. I've got my trusty um, things from Primark. I love these. These exfoliating ones. Um, oh, they're just amazing. I have actually been trying another one from Primark as well, which is the Deep Facial Cleansing Wipes, which is in the blue packet. These are really nice. They've not got the bobbly bits on them. But they're really, really nice. They really feel like your face is like thoroughly clean by the time you've finished. So that's that. Um, back to shop. Let's have a look. Right, this is Poundland. And I've got a feeling, I don't know if I've showed you these before. These like Hello Kitty bits and pieces. But I have got quite a few. The first thing I'm going to show you that I got from Poundland is this little contraption. This is just amazing. Oh, on the on your neck on your back you just like oh, give it a real you know real the knobbly bits on it it's just lovely they just feel like a shiatsu is that how you spell it i don't like saying that because it sounds rude if you say it wrong uh just ah, take that bit off so yeah got that from i think it was poundland yeah it was poundland um, I love that. It's just really, really nice just to get a good grip and just really roll it in your back. So that's nice. I picked that up. Then also from Poundland, or is this Pound World? I picked up these two um, little Vaseline pots. I've got the cocoa butter one, this one. I love cocoa butter anyway. It's one of my favourite smells. And it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I put this on my cute calls on any sore rough skin um on my lips and it's just really really nice so that's the cocoa butter one and i also got this one which i've seen before this is the light hydrating jelly aloe fresh and this is the aloe vera one this actually smells really fresh it smells really like cucumbers so if you don't like cucumbers it's probably not but it's not cucumbers obviously it's aloe and it's just so soft oh so soft so soft so yeah pick that one up they're a pound each which is a bargain then i picked up another hello kitty smudge brush these are absolutely fantastic they're really soft but they're really dense so you can really get under the eye or smudge your eyeliner across the top absolutely amazing so i picked up another one of those then i saw a hello kitty range just went mad absolutely mad so i got a hello kitty mascara which has just got you know your average type wand on it it's very nice um pound so i picked some of that up then i picked up two three four i've actually got four lipsticks but the other one's in my purse um it's just it's the one i'm wearing now actually it's like a really dusky pink so the three that i picked up oh, they're just so cute look at them um i picked up a red i will do swatches that's the red um just a really really nice cherry red and they're quite nice lipsticks actually they're still for quite a while then i picked up a peachy orange and i think this one yeah peachy king this one's called 
and that one looks like that. So I can see I've worn that one. See it there. Um, just a real nice peachy colour. I don't know if you can see that there. There you go. Um, so that's that one. Then this one's nice vampy colour. What's this one called? Koala berry. <laughs> and that's just a really nice sort of vampy colour, but quite sheer, so it's quite nice. And the other one, like I said, is the one that I'm wearing now, which is just like a dusty pinky rosy colour. Then I picked up a lip gloss from Hello Kitty. Um, this one is in... Oh my god, I can't read that. Berry cherry, I think. Um, she's watching that one. It's just like a really nice, it's not too dark, even though it looks dark in the barrel, it's not actually that dark because that one just there. Very, very pretty, and it's not sticky, which is wonderful because I don't like sticky. Then I picked up some. Where am I going to go now? Oh, hang on, I picked up some Hello Kitty today as well. You know the little concealers that I got of Hello Kitty that are in this sort of shape? Well, they've got eyeshadows in there now. So these are the eyeshadows. They're really pretty. This one is called Periwinkle Twinkle. And it's just got... Oh, if I can open the damn thing. Like blues and greens. Re they're actually true to colour what they are there. That is true to colour. Uh, they're very, very soft and satiny and lovely. Um, there's the blue. Let me just do a swatchy swatchy of the green. And there's the green. Very, very pretty colours. Um, they're a pound, obviously. And this one is called Never Heather. Or Never, Never Heather. Um, and this has got like purples and taupes and whatever that colour is. So let's do a purple. This taupey colour is just gorgeous. Those are the two taupe colours. And just do those two there. See those two. So they're really nice, you know, they're quite blendable, very, very nice indeed. Uh, what else did I get from Poundland? Today I went in and I got a couple of these. These are just shaker bottles because I, um, every now and again, do try and go on a health kick and I have the Slim Fast uh, milkshakes and they're just brilliant to shake up in these. Um, so yeah, they're a pound each. So I picked them up. I also picked up from... Um, Poundland today and apron for my daughter because she loves helping me in the kitchen so that's that one oh. sorry I'm just like you know going mad with my bags here so let me put those back in there so I've done those and they've got to go in the kitchen I saw these ages ago on um, Lisa's little haul it's basically number one girl and these are the um, glass uh, countertop thingies for your kitchen or your vanity or whatever um i actually have got this one already i've already got one i picked one up a while ago and this one says sweet sweets and treats yeah sweets and treats and that's got the macaroons on it um and then i picked up another one of them obviously that one and then i picked up two of these today these are all the different macaroons this is the one that lisa's got and it just shows you all the macaroons that are on there. And I just think they're so nice. And, you know, for a quid, um, a kitchen glass thingy me jiggy is just amazing. Then I saw the trays. So I had to get the trays too. So I've got the trays in the macaroon. Um, and I also got a tray in sweets and treats. So I picked up those from Poundland today. Then I'm going to go to factory shop and I picked up a few things in the factory shop. I got a couple of the um, HD Brows foundations, one in number one, number one, number two. They look like this. I think quite a few people have picked these up from factory shop now. Um, they're just really nice. I love the way they're, um, they've got a nice big mirror, which is there. And you've got your little sponge and you've got your little sort of like safety guard. Um, that's, that's number one. They're very nice. They're very creamy and very soft. Um, so I'm going to try those out and see how they go. And I'm not quite sure what colour number two was because I haven't actually opened it yet. That's quite a me colour, that one now. But if I get a bit more tanned, um, it's not that much darker. That's that one there. 
So I picked up those. Those were £5 each, which I thought was a bargain, considering HG Brows is quite expensive. Well, the brow kits are, anyway. Um, trying to get all this back together. <laughs> so that's those two. Um, I love the packaging on those. I just think they're marvellous. Then I picked up three lipsticks from W7, which I... Oh, these are just gorgeous. If you're into your pinks, oh, they're lovely. I've got one sort of like a red colour as well. So this is what they look like. They look a bit like Wet n Wild. Um, so the first one, I'll go for the lights one first. The first one is Tides. And they, that's what that looks like. And I'm just going to do... They're very pigmented. That's Tides there, that pink one. They're lovely. And they sort of dry on your lips without feeling drying, if you know what I mean. So that's that one. Then the next one is a slightly brighter fuchsia pink. Oh, and I've dropped it on the floor. Bear with me. I'm going to go and get it. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> oh, dear. So, oh, dear. I've chipped the corner on my bed, which is really clever. Um, so that's that one there. And this is lovely colour. Really bright fuchsia pink, that one there. Oh, I can't believe I did that, I dropped it. And this is like the red pink, which is just beautiful. And that's the bottom one there. So I've got those. They were, I think, £2 each, £3 each. And then I've got something that was a bit fun. And they both come out of the packaging. This is what they look like, £3 each. And they're hair chalk. Um, and the two colours that I got are blue and pink. And the chalk is sort of in there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and you literally just... I wonder if I can do it now. To give you a little demo of how well these work. I don't know if this is going to come out on camera. So, there you go. There's a bit of pink. That side... And I'll put a bit of blue this side, shall I? Just so you can see. Even though it doesn't really come out blue on my... Oh, yes, it does. So then there's me blue. So everyone's going to watch this video now and think, why has she got pink and blue bits in her hair? And the people at college, when I go and pick my daughter up, will probably think, why has she got blue and pink bits in her hair? But hey-ho, I don't care. So that is that. That's the um, factory shop done. Then... I went to no Superdrug and I got the Gloss Me um, lip glosses last time I went. I think I've already hauled them. And then I went back and got some Macme ones. Oh my God, my fingers, I can't hold anything. So I picked up some Macme ones this time and you can't see the colours because I've just done that. So those are the three colours. Um, I've got, I don't even know if they've got names. Hold on, yes they have. Brink Pink. These are the matte ones. This is really, really bright. I'm going to put that down there. So that's Brink Pink. Is that one there? Then I have got Party Pink. Which is a little bit darker. They actually look similar, but they're not. That's party pink, which is there, which is more of a red. And this one, I think, is, yeah, Fandango Purple. Oh, this has got to be my favourite. I love this. And I know Lisa loves this one as well. That is Fandango Purple, and it's gorgeous. Gorgeous on, and they don't feel drying on your lips when they're on there. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Then um, I went to Primark. Now, in Primark, these are boring, and I've taken them out of the packet, but I'm going to show you anyway. These are just the little sort of like tights, pop socks type, pop socks type things that go under your jeans or whatever. So I picked them up. I've got something under my knee. Then I also picked up these nails because oh, I just love Primark nails. I really do. And I just think these are gorgeous. Look at the fruity fruities. So those are definitely for when the sun comes out a bit more than what it has been. And um, that's that. Then I picked up some hair bands because I'm always picking up hair bubbles because they just don't last in my house. Where are the black ones? Oh, I can't see them. Where are the black ones? Oh, they're there. 
Um, so I picked up some hair bubbles because these are only a pound each and you get like loads on here. And my kids are always losing these things and they don't got my hoover or anything so I don't know where they go. So I picked up them. Then I picked up some more hair bands because as you know, I love my hair bands. So there's a pack of four there for a pound. You get a white, a silver, a gold and a... What's that? Leopard print? I don't know. So I got some of them. Then... I was looking at the nail stuff and I thought, oh my God, I love that. And I picked up this, which is an ombre kit. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Ombre kit, which is that one there. And this has the nail art sponges included, which are there. And it gives you all the directions on the back of how to use it. And that was just £3, guys. It's just ridiculous. £3. Then I got to the counter. Oh no, hang on. I'll show you my socks first. My pug socks. I think these are gorgeous. Look, puggy socks. So I've got that pair, that pair with a big pug face on it, and I think these are that one. Basically says pugs and kisses. I just think it's gorgeous. So I picked up them because I love me pug dogs. Um, also picked up a couple of lip glosses from Primark that look like this. I've got one open, so I should show you right now. Right, they look like that. Basically, it's a tube, and it's got a brush on the end. So you see the brush there? Um, and you squeeze, and out comes your lip gloss. So that's that one, just there. Um, that's the pink and I do believe I've got a red as well if I can get it back in the packet that would be fantastic so that's what they are and they are 150 ridiculous price I'm going to try and show you the red <sighs> if I can open the damn thing I might not be able to open it but hey ho you get the general idea because you've just seen the pink ones so but it would be nice to see how pigmented the red one is Why? Why do they package these things so damn well? It looks quite a nice dark one, actually. Um, so that's that one. Uh, let's squeeze a bit out, see if we can... Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, you like, you like, you like. And that's the red one there. So that's a nice bit of lip gloss. And like I said, those were £1.50 each. Then I picked up some nail art pens. And I got these two. Oh, God, see what I mean? I can't hold anything. These were also two pound each. So you got a teal, a silver, and a gold. I think a black and a white. And these have got the striper tool on the inside, and also the dotting bit on the top. So those were brilliant. Pick them up. Then when I got to the counter, I don't know why they do this in Primark. I got to the counter, and I basically found these, and they just look so interesting. And they're a pound each. Couldn't believe it. They're in the sale. So I picked them up and these are feather manicures. So basically you get your top coat, base coat, you get your colour and you get your feathers. And basically this is what you do. You paint your nail, you put the feather on, you cut round it, you put a base coat over it and you have feather nails. So I got that one with a silver and pink feathers and I got that one with like a beige colour and silvery black feathers. See the feathers in there? And they're a pound each, guys. I couldn't believe it. Absolutely couldn't believe it. Then I went to, oh no, Primark. Let me just show you what I got you for my little niece. Um, I can't resist buying for my little niece. She lives out in Germany and I cannot see her all the time. So I bought her this. Right, so this is the top. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And it says, pretty little things. And I got this sort of, I mean, she's only like a month month or so old now at the moment but i've got these in nine to twelve because i'm figuring out in germany in the winter it's going to be bloody cold um and then i've got her a sexy little leopard print leggings to go with it because i just think they look fab together and then i bought this because i just couldn't resist it and it's so sweet it's a little comfort blanket and it's a little giraffe i think i don't know but it's so soft and oh just something for her to cuddle in a buggy and I just love it. So I picked up those from Primark for my gorgeous niece. Um, is that it? And then I went to 
savers I do believe and picked up some more body cream so I got Jergens because it was on special offer these big ones were less like 149 in savers and it's just ridiculous so this is the Jergens cocoa butter conditions and enriches um and it just smells well you yeah, I've already told you what I like with cocoa butter oh god it's divine so I picked up the cocoa butter one and then the second one I got was Jergens Ultra Healing, Nourishes and Heals, Extra Dry Skin, Body Moisturiser in the body one. And I also got this in the hand cream because where I've been wearing my gloves, I don't know if you can see this, but it's so sore and red and rough and it's starting to crack and split. So I picked up the Jergens Ultra Healing hand cream as well, which I've tried and it's really, really nice. I think that is it. Oh my God, how much stuff did I buy? Retail therapy, what can I say? It's fantastic, I love it. So yeah, that is the haul. Um, really excited for tomorrow. Keep watching guys, because the collab comes out and starts tomorrow, the Hunger Games collab, which I'm involved in, and oh, 11, of us, 11 more of us, or is there 13 of us? I can't remember, 12, 11 or 12 of us. Uh, me, Lisa, Hayes Betts, uh, Caspian Summer, Fall makeup, uh, to name but a few that are in the collab, which comes and starts tomorrow. So that's the Hunger Games. Look out for that on my channel, um, and it will direct you to all the other videos as well. Really looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, that's the haul, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. There's plenty to hear to tickle your taste buds. If there's anything you want to review on or demo on, let me know, and I will be sure to try and help out. So, guys, I hope that you're all having um, a good week and you have a fantastic weekend. Like I said before, so sorry I went AWOL, but um, yeah, you'll understand. If you've ever had anything done in your house that just wrecks your life for about a week, then you'll know exactly how I feel. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Mwah! Love you all guys, bye.